General Medicaid warning. The views expressed in Five-ish Minute Lore, The Lore Delivered in Rants, are sanctioned by their scholar progenium as excess rages. Prolonged exposure can result in loss of IQ, high blood pressure, random outbursts, and blunt force trauma to the skull, resulting in unconsciousness. Please consult your local physician for more information. Foul-smelling. Temperamental. Violent. Abundant. Nutritious. While it may sound like I'm describing orcs, this is not the case. Rather, I am describing the Imperium's premier and most iconic source of food, even beyond corpse starch and amasek. The Grox. Last time I livestreamed, someone asked a question. I said if it were true, then I'd make a five-ish on it, so here we go. Today, we're not going to talk about a faction or a person or even a place. We're going to talk about the cow of the Imperium. Now, when you think of a cow in our day, you think about a large bovine who eats grass and gets fat, providing milk and meat, and all the while farting away our ozone. Sure, members of the species can be tempted to ruin someone's day, most times in Pamplona, where people think it's a good idea to deliberately make them mad, then run away because running from a thousand pound pissed off forklift with a personality of a chainsaw makes perfect sense. This is why I eat beef. I'm on a one-man mission to end this threat to humanity's future. You are welcome. Now let's talk about 40K's version of the cow, and like pretty much everything else in 40K that has any sort of modern day comparison, this is about to be completely screwed. This happy accident of genetics is called the Grox. The Grox looks like a cow walked through six nuclear reactors, had sex with a mountain lion, then pissed on the baby, which promptly got infected with the stone sickness from Game of Thrones. The Happy Grox was found in the Solomon system of the Imperium, and I'm guessing that one day someone got tired of eating corpse starch sandwiches and decided to murder their local fauna and try it. Now, normally killing local animals and consuming their flesh in 40k is a dice roll, because, well, it's 40k, you figure it out. But when your best dietary alternative is quite literally your dead friends and family, I'd forgive anyone for taking out Bambi and chewing off his leg. What, did you think the corpse starch was something wholesome? No, it's literally dead people. Welcome to 40k, you sweet summer child. Coming from the Calixis sector on the planet Solomon, the Grok stands at 5 meters long from the nose to the base of the tail, and is stupid fast, extremely territorial, has natural armor like a tank, and has the personality of a moose with a coked up honey badger shoved up its ass. They are about as majestic of an animal as a landfill is, and intensely solitary. Nearly all of their body is comprised of pure muscle, and if any animal deserves a soundtrack, this one would get the soundtrack from Doom Eternal. In short, this creature wakes up and chooses murder regardless of the question asked. They are also incredibly delicious, and the best part is you can eat nearly all of it. Even the skeleton has incredible nutritional properties. Not only that, the Grox can eat just about anything. And by just about anything, I mean they would put a space marine to the test when it comes to things they can live off of and actually thrive off of. The Grox can eat flat out dirt and get fat off it. Now, take what you know about the Imperium, introduce a demon dinosaur that is delicious and easy to feed, and you can get what happens next. No matter how much of a homicidal rampage the Grox could go on, there were always more humans, and they started coming up with better ways and better ways to bring the big animals down. Grox meat started being sold as delicacies far and wide, and sooner rather than later, some insanely wealthy people found out about the benefits of combining this lovely creature and poor people to produce profits. Soon there was a company found in it before too long a franchise was made called, and I'm not kidding, Grox Burgers. Ten bucks says they have a stupid mascot it's called Ronald McGroxler or some insanity like that. This idea has spanned into a galaxy-wide business within the Imperium, with the company literally giving rogue traders complete carte blanche to starting their own Grox farms on agri-rolls around the Imperium as well as opening up new Grox Burgers franchises wherever they so please. So naturally, considering the other options are eating your dead grandma, the Grox business took off. They tried to bring the Grox literally everywhere, to every kind of world, even to Katachan, where it has since broken out of its pens and now roams the jungles, eating literally anything it comes across. Now, the concept of any business owner in 40k having anything resembling ethics is downright piss my own pants laughable. But the number one problem with trying to have a Grox farm was the fact that you couldn't keep enough workers to actually manage the animals. The biggest problem is the Grox was a walking FIFO level threat, and instead of punching the cars for an end of shift, a lot of the workers were punching their cars for the end of life. 
not only that, when I say the Grox was highly territorial, I mean highly territorial. They would commonly charge and murder each other in land squabbles over a favorite pissing tree. The solution to this issue of the local livestock turning the farmers and each other into fertilizer would send a member of PETA into instant cardiac arrest followed by apoplectic rage. They en masse began lobotomizing the entire genetic strain that would be used for food, while hooking up the breeding stock with literal shock collars wired directly into their brain. This solved an amazing amount of problems, but there's still an occasional worker who forgets the fact they are dealing with a great white shark on land, and figures they out they made a poor life decision about a millisecond before the Grox ends it. But that's neither here nor there. It's amazing how comprehensive the Empyrean can be when it wants to be. So now, on agri-worlds separated from human settlements by the type of cage they should have made at Jurassic Park, massive herds of Grox roam, dull-eyed and grazing on literally anything they come across. A far cry from the devil dino they once were. Millions of the things are slaughtered daily to feed the ravenous maw of humanity. Welcome to McGrox. I'm fucking loving it.